What's up everybody? Welcome to the Idiot's Guide. I'm Mackie Hall and today we're going to be working on the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. The pen tool is one of the most fundamental tools in Illustrator. It helps us build and create our own unique shapes. With that in mind, there are some subtleties about it that I want to cover and hopefully get you on the path to mastering this tool. I think if you master this tool, you're going to be well on your way towards mastering Illustrator as a whole. With that in mind, let's not waste any more of it. Let's go. Before we get started, notice that we are using the Essentials layout and we are also using Smart Guides. Let's start off with best practice. While drawing a path, leave your fill transparent and have your stroke be either black or contrasting color against what you're drawing or tracing. That way, regardless of what you're drawing on your artboard, you can always see your stroke. Check it out, let's show you. Notice that as we're tracing out the shape and using a white fill and black stroke, we start to cover up the shape uh, that affects the way we're able to see it and obviously our ability to replicate it. The way around that is we swap our fill to transparent and change our stroke to again a contrasting color. We'll go red in this case and that should work fine. If we zoom in you can see the effect it has on our path and the shape that we are building. Next, let's talk about definitions. The first is a shape path. That's the path that you're making with the pen tool. That could be anything, including a simple rectangle, just like that. This can also be a closed path. A closed path is any path with no start or end. Generally, when using the pen tool, you want to close your path by completing your path where you started it. That gives you the ability to stroke the piece on all sides. It's also a good practice to close the path so you don't have to worry about your shape being broken up into pieces. Lots of examples of this. Again, we can make a rectangle. or whatever it is, that's an example of a closed path right there. Next is an open path. The open path is a path that's not been finished or connected. A line segment is an example of this. That's useful when creating paths for type on path or building paths for color blending. For most purposes, avoid. Example of an open path is any path such as this. A path segment is a part of the pen tool path. It is a segment between two or more anchor points. Can be an example just like this. Regardless of what you're making, this would be your line segment right there. Anchor points give you control over the path's direction and curvature. Create an anchor point by left clicking at the desired location on your artboard, such as this. Note, these are all anchor points. Even if I click and drag, that's still an anchor point right there. If I direct select, that's my anchor point. Next is our handle. A handle occurs when you click and drag on an anchor point. This allows you to create and manage a curve between two anchor points, such as this. I'll click and drag like that, and then I'll find another place. Let's move on to some additional definitions. Joining two paths. The way you join two paths is by direct selecting two end anchor points. From there, select object, path, join, and notice those paths are joined. To do this, you can also select control J again, Selecting the two endpoints with your direct select tool, control J. Terminating an anchor point, simply click on the active anchor point. From there, your path will go directly to a new anchor from the previous one without any curve. Here's the example. If we click, if we click and draw out our anchor point just like that, note that if I set my new anchor point, there is going to be a curve associated with it. If I don't want that curve, what I do is I want to drag up to the previous anchor point and click on it. Now that's terminated the anchor point and I can go to my new point just like that. 
Let's talk about what we can do with some additional keys. The shift key for new anchor points. Holding the shift key while clicking a new path anchor point will position the new point at 45 degree increments around the previous anchor point. See this example. If I'm holding my shift key right now, note as I move it, it's shifting my next anchor point position in 45 degree increments. This is a great way to get your exactly how you want it. Notice though, is as soon as I release my shift key, I can move my anchor point to any position I need. Using the shift key for handles. Holding the shift key during clicking and dragging positions the anchor point handles at 45 degree increments around the new anchor point. Take a look. Now if I click and drag my handles out, notice if I'm not holding on to my shift key, I can position my handles anywhere I see fit. Once I depress my shift key, note that everything moves in 45 degree increments. The control key. Pressing the control key while drawing a path brings up the direct selection tool that allows you to deselect the path if you click off of it. However, if you have anchor points, it allows you to simultaneously adjust both the trailing and leading anchor. Take a look. So if I'm clicking around my shape right now and I would like to deselect my path, select my control button and now I can click off of it. Conversely, if I've, if I've still got my path and I've got an anchor point, notice if I select my control key, now I can shift my handles or I can shift the position of my anchor as well. Note that with the control key, if the path is not selected, clicking on the path with the direct selection tool or with the control button allows you to direct select a specific anchor point and simultaneously adjust both the trailing and leading anchor such as this. Again, I'm pressing my control key, I'm clicking, and notice right away I can see both my anchor and a leading handle. Again, pressing my control key, I can change my handle as I see fit. Let's move on to the Alt key. Pressing the Alt key while drawing a path brings up the Anchor Point tool, which allows you to independently select and adjust visible anchors. Take a look. So I'll create my shape real quick here. Note that if I select an anchor point with handles, I can select the Alt key and click and drag any of those handles. Note that the leading handle is moving independently of the trailing handle. Lastly, let's talk about directional keys. Directional keys allow you to adjust anchor points in a path in one point increments. You cannot adjust handles with directional keys, but you can manage your path. Note that I'm using the direct select to select an anchor point on my path. If I arrow up, it shifts my anchor point in one point increments. Additionally, if I hold my shift key and I arrow up, notice that I am moving my point in 10 point increments, just like that. We'll deselect. Let's give it a little practice, shall we? Now let's practice. Here we've got a simple tree image. If you need to download the image, it is available at the link on screen or below. Let's get started with this. The first thing we're going to do in following our best practice is we will make our fill color transparent. The next thing we'll do is we'll change our stroke to a contrasting color. Again, I'm going to go red. We'll start at the top. and I can zoom in, of course. Notice that if I hold my shift key, my path is at a 45 degree angle. I'm clicking and dragging again using my shift key and then I'll go back to my turn point. Right here, I'll click and drag again. Notice the handles. At this point, watch what I'll do. I can do two things. I can hold my Alt key down and hold my Shift key, and I can drag my handle to that 45 degree position where I can continue just like that. Additionally, what I could do is I could terminate my anchor path by bringing my pen tool to my last anchor point, clicking, 
and then continuing my drag. Once again, click and drag until I've got my path followed. Next thing I'll do is I'll terminate my path, go down, hold my shift key, click and drag just a little bit. And once again, I will click, holding my shift key again because I want it horizontal, click and release. And again, I will go to my corner right here, click and drag until that feels right. Then I'll terminate my turn. Note that to navigate around my tree, I'm pressing my space bar and clicking and dragging. Once again, I'll continue. So there you have it. One quick note. Practice makes perfect. You can learn the fundamentals pretty easily. However, mastering them and implementing the techniques of the pen tool does take time, it does take practice. So take the time out to download some images and get those pieces right. Beyond that, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Beyond that, subscribe, throw me a like, I'd really appreciate it. I will see you next time. See you.